There are more than 700 college football programs in America. This season, just one has the honor of hosting the sport's grand opening. It's incredible. I can go back to my assistant coach days, but, and even my first few years here as a head coach, and if someone would approach me and said, hey, here in the near future, ESPN's coming to town, and this is gonna be the only game played in the United States, period. So what are you, crazy? At Eastern Washington University, the red carpet awaits as some of the sport's brightest stars prepare for a Saturday afternoon spotlight never seen before. And here we go! It's huge, it's huge for the program, for the team, for the city, Spokane, Cheney, it's, it's just, it's awesome, you know, because if you really think about it, everybody in the world can watch this game. You know, help sell the school, help sell the football team, help sell our level of football and just show people that, that this is football, you know, it, it, it's D1 football with men playing the game and uh, you can't beat that in, the, you know, the end of August being the first game on TV, it's just, it's kind of like a dream come true. Today, a behind the scenes look at a proud program and how it prepares on and off the field. <laughs> SWX goes inside Eastern Washington football. It is the end of July on the Eastern side of Washington State. Another scorching summer has left its mark on the landscape. And at Eastern Washington University, a campus sits in its off-season slumber, with one notable exception. You gotta get louder than that, Jake. Come on, man. This is not a family-friendly deal. Yeah! You gotta think on the run, let's go. Cross your body more, Pat. I don't want soft sets. You're a boxer, across your body. We talked about having camp, hard setting. We should have great transition the whole day. Let's have a great number one. The wake-up call has come early for the Eagle football team. Constant movement, fellas, let's go. Just 24 days until the season opener against Sam Houston State. Everybody in America is going to make mistakes through camp. You go into the playoffs, even our best years, we're still making mistakes at certain times. You know, you're, on, you're never perfect. You never, no one's ever had a perfect practice, a perfect game, a perfect anything. But it's your attitude and your effort. I'm telling you, that's going to be the difference. Attitude and effort are core to the culture here. And so too are expectations. The Eagles are the preseason number one. You know, expectations are just, are just they're, they're outside of our control, you know, that's, that's something that we don't really have to worry about. Um, aside from what we have, our expectations for ourselves, and um, I think we expect more out of ourselves than I think anyone else really does. You can't think too far ahead, like we've talked about before, I think it's one day at a time, one practice at a time, and you just got to go out and attack it and know that your expectations are high, but that's because we've proven that we can get there, and I think we got to get there again. And, that's all there is to it. We embrace them. We want them. You know, we're excited about them. Uh, you know, it's it's one of those things. We're not afraid of them. We've we've talked. About, I mean, we talked about uh, high expectations before we ever, I guess, earned the right for this type of preseason accolades. You know, so even before 2010, you know, we talked as a staff, as a program. You know, with the kids and, and those guys. And some most of those guys have come and gone. But as a program, we were looking to take this program to another level where there would be these high expectations over the next so many years going forward. That was part of our vision so where we are is exactly what we embrace and what we want as a program yeah booty let's go baby Bo Baldwin is in his seventh season of setting the standard in Cheney he has a national championship to his credit 
He holds school records for conference wins and winning percentage. Finish this drill strong, fellas! He also has a philosophy that seems so simple. Ah, uh, yeah! <laughs> it's hard to imagine it's considered uncommon. I just don't believe in coaching in reverse. I don't believe in, you know, in, in game managing in reverse. You know, you, you talk about that. I believe in going forward. And I think the mindset, and when you think that way, it's not just going to help you in football. It's going to help you in life. So let's come out swinging. Don't leave anything in the tank. Let it all out there, and then we'll find ways to regroup group again. Good play, Bruce! Way to stay with it, kid! You're looking good, Roll Dan! Put the pressure on Jake! That's it, Zach! Relax, relax, relax. Play fast, but in control, young guys. There's not a guy out here who shouldn't be thinking about being an impact on special teams. Give him that fast look. I'm blessed to have, to be able to have transferred into Eastern and be able to you know, be coached by Coach Baldwin. He's he's been nothing but uh, you know, I mean, a great coach to us so far. Uh, motivating, um, not really your type of you know drill sergeant. Um, you know, I mean, in your face, but he still gets the job done. New group, new group. Hustle off. Hey, hey. Next time, come back. We'll fix it. Let's go, young bucks. Hustle off. Hustle off. Relax that group too, Connor. Relax that group. I've told so many people this. He's the best coach I've played for because he he's so positive. Like, he's a positive coach. Like, even if, say, like, something didn't go right during the game, all coaches get different emotions during the game. They're the heat in the moment. So, like, he'll get upset about something. But the next day in our team meeting, he'll really look at the play and come back and tell everybody in the room like okay that was not a smart play but I love the heart that you had to make that play I love like he brings out the positive in everything that's it that's it feel that timing of all the connections Baldwin has with his players his with his quarterback may be the most natural nope a former college QB himself over the years, he's coached some of the country's best. Go victims. Which, of course, includes his current hey. signal caller. Snoop! Uh, I can't hold my O's for that long. Coming up, the playmaker that gives the offense personality. <laughs> Let's go! For opposing teams who travel to Cheney, it may seem there's something in the water. After all, Eastern Washington is 24 and 4 here since it rolled out the red turf. For the Eagles, though, the ingredients for success are more straightforward. It's a process. Yeah, we have long-term goals. There's no doubt about it. But once we talk about those long-term goals on a you know big old goal board, now there's a lot of process in between that. As camp wears on, it's clear. It's equal parts dedication, determination, and of course, talent too. The Eagles returned six starters from last year's league leading offense, including Jerry Rice Award winner Cooper Cup and his quarterback, Vernon Adams. Good hit. Sit. Runner up for last year's Walter Payton Award and leader of the unit. Go get it, heck. Yeah, baby. Adams stands just six feet tall. That's clout right there. But he's never hard to find on a football field. <laughs> Laces out on the spec, the swag going today. I'm probably like, man, if I don't talk too much, I'll be out here talking to myself. That everybody has their own personality. My personality is you just gotta come out here and have fun. Football is my life. 
That, that's what I know. Football is my life, and this is what I love to do. I love waking up at 5 a.m., coming to meetings, or going to weights. I love being on the field with my with my teammates and just out there talking trash to each other. Y'all just getting mossed out here. But this is just all fun. Just the energy he brings outside of in the play, uh, bringing it to the huddle, bringing it onto the field. I mean, you just want to play for him. You want to uh, do your best for him. And he demands the best out of us. The outside world sees the big plays or this big, huge scramble, and that's what they remember. What we get to see is a complete package in the making, and it's continuing to grow. It is for good reason he is known here as Big Play VA. But the moniker he goes by at home means so much more. It's okay. Here, he's simply known as Dad. So mean. June 22nd, Adams and his girlfriend Cheyenne became first time parents. I was bawling my eyes out, you know, I, and the doctor was like, you want to help me take him out? I was like. He actually got to deliver him. I was like, yeah. So I was right there and got to deliver him. I was shaking. Her dad had to hold me because he said it looked like I was about to faint. But, uh, you know, it was it was good. It was awesome. And we're just so happy he's healthy because, you know, he came five weeks early. But happy he's healthy and all that. Vernon Adams III will be called Cash. Mm -hmm. My dad always told me, I want, to, I want you to be a better man than me, so I'm going to give you everything I can and teach you everything I know. And that's I'm going to do the same thing with him. I'm going to teach him all the wrong, teach him all the good, just teach him everything. And when I go out to practice and even the games, definitely practice, I go out, I pray. I pray for my family. I pray for these two. I'm just so thankful that God blessed me with just such a beautiful baby and, and all of that, you know, and it's, it's, it's really awesome. Thank you, Jesus. You're my savior, and I'm second to you and no one else. And thank you so much. <sighs> thank you. Just name pray, man. Thankful for his blessings and blessed with the rare ability to handle everything that's thrown his way. I didn't see anything. It turns out. The quarterback can catch too. Oh, My hands are too great. My hands are way too great. <laughs> yes, baby. That's what I'm talking about. My hands are too nice, Nicholas Edwards. My hands are too nice. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. I'm the greatest receiver. My hands are too great, Stu. My hand work is too nice off the line. How dare you try to call me out in front of all my friends, disrespecting me. How's the ball, baby? Yep. I'm talking about. Coming up on Inside Eastern Washington Football, feeding the appetite of a football team. Wait, look, what you do is like this. You're supposed to eat with the cameras on you. It's what you do. It's looking as big as like this. You eat. <laughs> 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 Make the camera uncomfortable. <laughs> That's how you combat it. You gotta picture the camera in its underwear. And then you're good. <laughs> right? That's what I said. The prospect of defending the Big Sky title in Sheeney can only be helped if everyone pulls their weight. For the defense, that means pushing to improve. We we'll kind of have a chip on our shoulder this year because people are always talking about the numbers. You know, numbers don't lie. But also at the same time, they don't understand that as quick as our offense scores, we're on the field a lot. And uh, Coach Graham's put it perfectly. All we're worried about is getting turnovers and getting stops, getting the ball back in the hands of Cooper and Vernon and those guys on offense to score. Sometimes we slide in the, under the radar, but we're, we're out there working, and I'm excited. I think we're going to have a great defense this year. Yeah, I guess you always look forward to practice um, and dinner. You want to watch that guy eat? Is that yeah. what <laughs> The 
The appetite for success is as big as ever for the Eagles. We call Dave Xbox because he's 360 pounds. Feeding that hunger is almost a sport of its own. Well, they're always cooking more food for us. They, they never stop and we'll keep eating it. As long as they cook it, we'll eat it. Football players are not shy about mess hall habits. I'm probably the biggest eater here. Besides Ron. His lady's a vegan, so when Ron gets here, he just chows down. You know what I'm a little that tater tot casserole, get a couple of extra sandwiches, you know, take them home, hide them from the hide them from the fiance. Yeah, yeah, look at you. <laughs> He loves it. Pate's putting it down, though. Pate's being ginger about it, though. It's like, oh, I'm going to get two gotta, plates. I got to put down some pounds, man. Put down some pounds? Nah, I mean, drop. I think you need to drop some pounds. Put, drop. You need to put down the sandwich is what you need to do. No. It was Sawyer took out the dessert away last year. Why? Because we were all getting fat. <laughs> Whatever the diet, it's fuel to help him keep up at camp. Much needed, especially down in the trenches. Rip! 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 Come on! It's simple coaching points, man. It's mental toughness. Whether or not you do it, you understand? Tight overs, tight overs with the feet. Tight overs, tight unders. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hands high. Hands high. I don't know sign language, so watch somebody. Not to me, past me. Hands high. Replace, replace, replace. Gain ground. Hands high. Pass me. Ryan Pass Sawyer me. coaches the defensive lineman. Yes! I'll tell you, you're being 10 times more coachable right now than you were this morning. It's a great job. That's how you're going to get better, Bubba. Intensity on the line runs hot here. Three, one. On both sides of the ball. Get off! Fight, fight, Holy fight. smokes! Aaron Best has the offensive line. You can go and then start moving them. He always knocks some of his freckles off. Spend a few minutes at practice. Let's go figure it out! It's hard to imagine any of the assistants could ever be overlooked. I gotta work to gain ground, let's go! Bo Baldwin couldn't agree more. I'm so blessed to have just great people, you know, in terms of our assistant coaches, uh, you know, and that goes with what I'm saying, loyal people and then great teachers. And not just teachers of the football stuff, but teachers of, again, teachers of great body language, how to be a great citizen, you know, how to attack the classroom, and, and all the little things that, that we're counting on to be a great program, more than just for 12 guaranteed Saturdays and hopefully more, but for all year round. It's not all football talk on the field. So my favorite show's back on. Yeah, <laughs> Mar married? No. Yeah, it's fine. No, I don't do I don't do much uh, sitcoms. I do more more reality. No, what's my favorite show? Teen? Teen Mom. Yes. <laughs> you Teen Mom too, guys? Peterson or Brian Bosworth, coach? What's up? Hey, as a Sooner, Adrian Peterson or Brian Bosworth? Come on. See? No, no, he knows. He's shaking his head. Adrian Peterson, he knows. No. He knows. No. College, not pro. Brian yeah, absolutely. He's going AP because, okay. yeah. Yeah, I call it Yes, absolutely. The lessons come in different forms. It's sad. You only know what Brian Bosworth is. You like Team Mom? No, I do. Do you watch it? No. Oh, you are going to watch it, though? But they all count in creating a team. Up here, where our chests are exposed, our faces are on each other's shoulder. Do you guys see the position we're in? Get <laughs> up! Oh, no. no, I don't. <laughs> come on. Come on, Sam. <laughs> That's better. Get up! Oh, yeah! Come on, come on, come on! While the rest of the country waits and watches, the doors are swinging open on a new season in Cheney. Getting to the top and making a run to get there is one thing, 
you know, doing the little things and staying competitive and grinding once you're there to stay on top, that's tough. But our mindset is that way, just hungry, almost, almost like I tell, you know, juniors and seniors that have started for two or three years. You know, you have that confidence like a guy like that, but still have that hunger and work ethic like a redshirt freshman. That's what's going to, you know, keep you on top. After a little more than three weeks of intense work. That ultimate goal is to get that natty. Anticipation is high for another run at a title. Now, we won't hide behind that, fellas. We won't hide behind the fact that our mindset is to win a national title. We will not. We know that. But you'll hear us daily talk about it takes the daily grind in the process. You got to know you have to. You have to have big visions to reach big goals. You do. I disagree with people who always say just totally focus on one game at a time. I get it. You got to break it down, but you got to have those big visions. But then you have to break it down and understand what is the process to get there. The climb will be several months long. There's no place I'd rather be than going to war with my buddies and my brothers out there. And uh, you can't beat that. It starts with a non-conference nemesis. It's about that time, you know, to have fun and try to get these guys back. It will continue with every opponent eyeing its shot at the Eagles. It's all eyes on us, and, and we're excited for the opportunity uh, to be on that stage. I know guys are going to you know, put their best foot forward and try to you know, make a name for themselves and let the world know. This is the fun part, you know. The rest is the grind. This is the fun part where we get to go out and ball. Here on the eastern side of Washington State. We're just going to show it how, how much we want it, and we're going to see how much we want it. A team, an institution, and a town are ready. That's what I'm here for, to get you better. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that would work. Yeah. I love you a lot. You're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs>